the most remarkable. Uh, by reading it in advance, you will get the better the gist of the Japanese take. This was aired by the Fuji Television Network in Japan on October 20th, 1993. It was titled The Dream Energy. Excuse me, can I just make sure. one point clear? Sure. I had notified the Japanese about these developments about two years earlier, and then there was a published article about half a year before they came out with, with this announcement. Newscaster, Woman's Voice. It's been said that it's impossible to gain usable energy from permanent magnets. Newscaster, Woman's Voice. Voice. But it's been discovered that it's indeed possible to extract energy from permanent magnets, and our staff has pursued this matter to reveal to you the secrets of this new technology. The script on the screen. Professor at Waseda University Engineering Department, Physics, Professor Yoshish Yoshishiko Otsuki. Otsuki. This is something that can turn the whole 21st century around. In terms of new energy, when I visited and saw the experiments in action, my hands literally trembled from excitement. Script on the screen. Japan Science Research Laboratory, Nihon Riken, Mr. Terohiko Kawai. Narrator, woman's voice. What has surprised Professor Otsuki was the fact that there was a high energy ratio achieved, that there was, in fact, a ratio over 100%. The phrase used is more output than input. Script on the screen. Meiji University Scientific Engineering Department, an engineer, Professor Masao Mukaidone. Mukaidone. What we found were some very interesting facts. Narrator, woman's voice. Permanent magnets have the nature to repel and pull. Professor Kawai has succeeded in making permanent magnets produce mechanical energy. To convert magnetic energy to mechanical energy. Script on the screen, now revealed dream energy. Narrator, woman's voice, and script on the screen in Tokyo, Kamata. All he ever thought about was permanent magnets, and one day he discovered the principle that the magnetic energy can be converted to mechanical energy. Script on the screen, experimental equipment. Narrator, woman's voice. Was this really possible? The first experiment was about to begin. Script on the screen, Professor Kawai. Kawai, I was very anxious. Was it really possible? Will I be able to obtain usable mechanical energy? Script on the screen, January 12, 1991. This fact was determined. Man's voice, we placed the permanent magnet. More turns were observed as well as torque. Narrator, woman's voice. Yes, it was indeed possible to obtain more mechanical energy. Kawai, I was extremely happy with the results. Narrator, woman's voice. Let's have Professor Mukaidono, who has been with this experiment, developed by Professor Kawai from the beginning, comment on it. What we have here is the more effective employment of switching, of turning on and off of magnets in a sequence. Script on the screen, the principle of switching. Same poles attract, only the opposite poles repel. Here we have two magnets with a piece of iron between them. We turn the pole on one magnet, and the piece that was picked up falls. Narrator, two magnets have a piece of iron between them. Then this piece, too, becomes magnetized and can attract another piece of iron. Switch the pole on one magnet, and this piece drops. Script on the screen, October 12, 1993. This principle is made public. Man's voice, let me explain using a diagram. Here we have a motor with a permanent magnet embedded with protruding magnets placed around its frame. With the core magnet, those individual magnets are magnified, and through switching these individual magnets, the motor turns. Narrator, woman's voice. With sequential switching of the external magnets, the motor turns and increases its, its speed. This principle can be applied to both direct and alternating current motors. Uh, staff member, Isamu Fukui. We, narrator, we place a very powerful permanent magnet into the rotor. This is a direct current motor employing the permanent magnet principle. Script on the screen, direct current motor. Narrator, woman's voice. What we had here was an output exceeding 100%. Seeing the results, the professors were amazed. Script on the screen, June 28, 1993, at, at Nihon uh, Riken. Kawa, where did this extra output come from? This is a rev really a revolutionary find. Mukaidono. This can only be attributed to an extremely higher level magnitude of electron levels. Narrator, woman's voice. Now we begin an examination of this extraordinary motor. 
In February, the engineers of the Sumitomo group examined the motor, Mukaidono. The turning level is very high, narrated. They checked to see all data achieved is correct. Kawai, we checked to see same, same readings were gained on other meters, not just the ones we used on our initial experiments. Professor Kawai feels that they have laid the foundations of the principle. Now it's time for private enterprises to utilize these findings. Narration by Miki uh, Oyoki. Now they will apply the principle to existing motors that are on the market, experimenting with store-bought motors. The turning ability of the motor is increased, and effect at this level is also greatly increased. 92 to 98% is achieved. Script on the screen, Sumitomo Aerospace Unit 2, Division Chief, Hiroshi Tamagawa. Tamagawa, what we have here is a curious phenomenon whereby we've come up with a better motor. Narrator, Professor Mukaidono has come to check the meter readings and the data. We're seeing what levels can be achieved with existing motors using our principle. We're now showing it. What we have here is a curious phenomenon whereby we come up with a better motor. <laughs> ゲンリを公開したのだから各企業の専門家がそれぞれの分野で応用していけばよいという住友商事の技術者たちは市販の大手メーカーの交流モーターに河合さんの原理を使って実験を試みた。効率が上がってる。昨日まで約93%、93%ぐらい行ってます。我々が作ったのは誘導電動機を軸ってるうちに極めて効率の高いね、3層の動機モーターが出来上がっちゃったというようなあおかしな現象になったんですけど。この情報